Hello guys, the newest Xbox One update has been released for the general public, it was previously just available for preview members and if you have seen my previous video I brought you all the news and information, the newest things that the update included. Anyways, this is the old um, dashboard for the Xbox One and in this video I'm actually going to show you how to get the newest update which will basically change the whole way how your Xbox One looks once again. Now, as you can see, just going over like how it looked before and then we're gonna compare it to how it looks now. So, there we go, nothing too cool, I would say. Uh, the, in this update, the old one, the Xbox One store is still completely separate from the Windows 10 store and with this new update, you're gonna be able to install the universal Windows platform apps in both your PC and in the Xbox One. So anyways, back to the part where you actually want to see uh, just go to settings go to all settings and just go to connecting devices nope sorry it's in system console info and updates and just give it some time it'll show that the update is available There we go, it took a little bit of time and uh, it has appeared, it says update console, so just click that and the update will be applied automatically to your console and start downloading it, uh, so of course I don't think you'll be able to use your console at all, once you do that, you don't need an update, what? There we go, okay, that was kind of weird. I just had to press it again, I guess. Anyways, it's one gig. And just press start update. And there we go. You just have to wait until it actually completely downloads. And it completely brings a whole new experience to the Xbox One. Uh, instead of saying Xbox do this, if you have a Kinect or something else, you, you will actually need to say, hey Cortana, and then give it a command. It actually has added commands. However, sadly, it takes a little bit longer. So hopefully that's something that they'll improve in the future. But you can actually turn Cortana off and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next video That I do once this update is done in this console, even though I have it downstairs with the, with the actual preview In my other console, but anyway, so hope, hope you enjoyed this video and it actually helps you With how to actually get the update if you haven't downloaded it yet um, as you saw my console really didn't want to let me update, I actually had to search a little bit for for, for it or, or make extra presses that I shouldn't have but anyways it, it'll show up eventually as for you to update and it updates so I'll, I'll, I think I'll, I'll probably leave in the video the, the errors and the little bit of shocks that I got when it didn't want to update that anyways as you can see my internet is not the fastest so for most people of you yeah, most of you, 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 all, you are gonna get this basically instantly, it's only one gig, it's not that big, this is maybe like 20 minutes for me. Actually, probably way less, but, um, but yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, and hope this helps you get this new update, it's freaking amazing. If you haven't yet, go see my other video for the Xbox One uh, newest experience, where I actually go over the newest features that, they're, that they have added to, to the Xbox One. I'll probably make one, a new one of that one because it, they basically changed a little bit of things and they made it more, more streamlined, it works better overall. So see you in the next video guys.